My first experiences were Bernie go back to the late 80s. I was on the board of United Co-ops of Ontario as a director, elected by farmers. And at that time, Bernie was on the UCO, or United Co-ops of Ontario, staff in the Treasury Department. Most people working for UCO in those days didn't sleep very much. Bernie was working in that type of environment, very, very intense. He tried to find ways to keep the, the, the program rolling, keep the game plan on. He refuses to lose. That was his mantra. There's no way. We're going to make this work somehow. Figure it out. Let's figure it out. I think what stands out in my mind the most about my working relationship with Bernie was his, his ability to bring trust uh, two-way between Gromark and the members in Ontario. He had a, a vast amount of experience from his days in, in uh, whether it be Kaufman's or whether it be through the old UCO or through Gromark and uh, he had a lot of experience and as a result and a lot of deals under his belt so as a result we uh, I certainly always relied on him for for his expertise and for his experience. Bernie was a man of action he was one who um, uh, meant what he said and he would give you the whole story whether it was good news or bad news. Well I joined UPI in December of 1992 uh, what I remember the most is this guy walking through the door and all I could see was a mustache but I knew the minute that uh, we started, you know, doing business together that uh, we were going to get along just fine. Well, Bernie knew your business. He would study it. He would analyze it. So that when he came to the table to talk to you about doing a deal, he knew how the pieces would fit together because he knew everyone's, you know, everyone's piece. Hey, there was a wealth of knowledge uh, in Bernie. He had, he had all the history. Uh, he knew the connections, uh, he knew the people, uh, which is largely what you deal with, is the people. Bernie was uh, amazing because he got straight to the issue, whatever the issue we were talking about. Um, so he didn't take a lot of time to have a lot of uh, discourse in around the discussion. Uh, he was a strong problem solver, right straight to the point, and uh, he always offered solutions. And you knew where he stood on issues. He seemed to be a little... A little gruff on the outside, but I once got to know him. He uh, he's a soft-hearted man, kind man. He is always very passionate about three things in his life. Uh, one being his family, for sure, his career, and his northern office. That particular cottage, that's what he lived for. I mean, he lived to get up there and uh, boot around on the ATV. And, you know, uh, every Wednesday he would send us an email saying, are you coming to the cottage? Growing up, I mean, he coached us in hockey, he coached us in baseball. He took uh, an interest in pretty much everything we ever did. He was just one of those guys that you could always approach about anything. Um, if you had a problem, be it personal or professional, I'm sure his co-workers would say the same, that you know, he'd be more than willing to, to listen to you and give his thoughts on it. He considered everybody a friend. It wasn't a, a case that, you know, they were you know, just people he worked with. They were his friends as well. Just sucks it without him, that's all. He's left a big, uh, big hole in the Ontario landscape uh, as far as cooperatives go. The Gromark and the and the Ontario Co-op system owe Bernie a great debt of gratitude um, for what he has done. And if Bernie could see us now, he'd be very pleased at where where we all are. Uh, everyone working together and working hard and moving forward. But there's not many days around here where we don't have a moment saying, you know what. Where was Bernie on this one? The void is not totally filled. I don't think it ever will be.